Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Commodity TV and another edition, a new edition of our online interview series. And today we want to talk to Orania Resources and the CEO, Dr. Keith Barron, is just back from Ecuador, where he was two months in the field. Keith, good morning and welcome back in Switzerland. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Hope I'll you are doing a real shock to the system to see uh, snow after so long. <laughs> yeah, I believe that. Yeah, you have been in the jungle, right? And it was mm. quite warm. Super. Yeah, as I said, you have been two months in the field in Ecuador uh, on your project. And I think uh, we should do uh, yeah an update here on the exploration. And you had also several news releases, which were very interesting. And uh, let, let's start uh, because we have so much to talk about with uh, your news release least like uh, I think one or two days ago it was where you found some ancient infrastructure at Tiria Shimpia. Why is this so important? Because you reported that already via the LIDAR uh, surveys, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, this is, this LIDAR is a, is a fairly, fairly new technology, the, the way that we're applying it. And uh, uh, we've actually given our, uh, our LIDAR survey to three different uh, companies to have it processed. And uh, on the latest processing, we're seeing some things near the Tiria Shimpia target, which potentially are old Spanish workings. We don't know yet. They have to be investigated on the ground. This is new stuff that's really just come in. But it looks like there, there may be uh, potential for uh, some old tunnels, um, some spoil heaps, um, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, from from mining. Uh, and I did say in the press release that uh, under the old Spanish regi regime, and we're talking, uh, you know, almost 500 years ago, uh, if um, they had found uh, high grade silver lead zinc at the surface, they almost certainly would have pitted or sunk a, a, a small uh, um, kind of a rat hole um, mine on, on the thing and tried to investigate it further. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So this is quite important to have this ancient uh, infrastructure because it's a very nice hint for uh, 500 years ago mining. Uh -huh, and yeah. uh, of course, with modern methods, uh, this gives a complete new view on things. Um, Let's start uh, with your drilling and uh, what's going on there. We talk about IOCG targets, then you have copper silver, then you have base metal targets. So feel free to pick one to start with, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, Actually, we've now got five different styles of mineralization on the on the property, which is an absolute amazing thing. Uh, but the latest thing that's turned out is is this um, these IOCG systems. Uh, IOCG means iron oxide copper gold. Uh, we're still waiting for the assays on the um, on holes uh, four and five. As soon as we get them, we will release them. But we see visible copper in them. We're hoping, hoping, see my fingers crossed, <laughs> hoping that there's going to be gold with it as well. Uh, but at this stage, we don't know. Uh, all we do know is that there is visible uh, a native copper in the core, and that's a great thing. So these IOCG systems, um, uh, the academics are kind of sitting on the fence as to how they form. It may just be a, a fluid system like you get in a, in a typical epithermal gold thing, or it could be uh, a bit like a porphyry. We, we just don't know at this stage. Uh, but we do know that they exist. We do know that they're being mined around the world. Olympic Dam in South Australia is the, the largest example. And of course, a very, very lucrative example of this stuff. I'm not saying we have another Olympic Dam, mm -hmm. but uh, we've got something that's very, very interesting here, very intriguing. Um, the main sink and anomaly uh, is uh, around five kilometers across. It's a massive, massive thing. And the reason we didn't tackle that with the first drill hole is because we thought it is too large to be a porphyry. And we were looking for porphyries. Mm -hmm. So we didn't know what it was, but we knew that it wasn't going to be a porphyry system. So we just, uh, you know, we'll leave it for the time being. We'll get to it later. Mm -hmm. Now okay. it's uh, potentially very, very important. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, super. Um, I remember when the last time we spoke about that, the wish list was 36,000 meters of drilling, of course, also for 2021. And uh, so how much drilling have you done so far? And maybe can you a little bit summarize uh, the outcome of the work of the last two, three months? What what were the important things like uh, Zenken, for example, Zenken N1, 2, N3? Yeah, uh, what, what were the important things, uh, let's say, copper, silver, versus porphyry versus IOCG versus the base metals. Yeah, yeah, I know that the, the whole thing is getting rather complicated, isn't it? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bad thing, actually. Yeah. But uh, no, so we uh, we set out to to drill uh, Senken uh, N2 and N3. Um, reason being, uh, they're isolated. Um, they're helicopter supported. And we're in the COVID bubble. Um, so there's a situation where there's no going in and out of, of personnel. We didn't have to worry about that aspect. It's an important aspect right now. And, and people, you know, they, they look at us and they say, well, what are you doing? What are you doing? And why are you doing this? Well, we have to live in the, the reality of the COVID pandemic like everybody else. And so it, it has, uh, has affected um, really uh, how we tackle and where we tackle things. Um, I don't want to give investors the impression that we're no longer looking at gold because that is not the situation. It's just that it made more sense to be on these targets today. Mm -hmm. And and actually, uh, I'm very glad that we did that because we're finding a lot of very, very interesting stuff. So what we're going to do here, we've drilled uh, uh, drill hole number six is in progress right now. Uh, that should finish actually in the next day or two. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll be able to get another drill hole uh, stuck in there uh, before um, before the Christmas break. Uh, but in any case, uh, we would start going right after Christmas, right after, uh, and uh, and get stuck into it uh, yet again. But um, so the plan is to uh, finish off this. Remember, this is scout, scout drilling. This is not definition drilling mm -hmm. or anything like that. This is just to get a taste of this thing. Mm -hmm. We want to do the airborne survey over these targets that we have already found. Um, so that's what we call a mobile MT survey, magnetotelluric. It picks up sulfides, depth conductors, and uh, potentially that is going to uh, much better uh, target our drilling in the future. But so we're going to move on. We're moving on to uh, the target uh, N1, um, which is a, um, a breccia hosted copper thing. Uh, we've had values of up to four to five percent copper on surface. Uh, you can see the copper in it. So that's going to be very, very exciting. And then uh, we're going to probably do some uh drilling uh, on the periphery in the uh copper and silver and sediments which is very very close by and then we're going to move over to tyria mm -hmm. and tyria shampia is this massive massive 15 kilometer long uh lead zinc silver uh vein system i'm hopeful that there's going to be gold at depth but uh uh, we see some gold in in the in the stream sediments and in the uh, soil geochemistry We'll just have to see what we get, but we have seen uh, high-grade um, silver in with lead zinc on the surface, and uh, we're going to punch a bunch of holes into this thing. Uh, the main um, mineralized structure looks like it's two kilometers long. Mm -hmm. Two kilometers is longer than Fruta del Norte is. <laughs> so, that's, that's really and, and the whole, the whole yeah. structure itself is 15 Ks. Mm -hmm. um, so we have to prioritize along this thing. And we're going to do a couple of uh, mobile MT lines over top of this thing and see what we get as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, after those, uh, these mobile um, surveys, when, when, uh -huh. when you have done that, let, let's assume you, you, are, you are getting uh, results which might change also the plan. Well, this is it. And this is the reason we're doing it. And, you know, exploration should be an uh, it, iterative process. You, you change the plan as the results come in. Uh, there's no point in, in, in proceeding on something uh, 
which uh, you think at the end of the day is is, is not going to uh, to be economic or you're not getting the, the sort of results that you were expecting, uh, you move on to something else. Mm-hmm. And uh, and so we're going to have to rejig our um, our plan as we've laid it out. Um, some things will will uh, go up on the priority scale and some things will come down. Mm-hmm. Okay, super. Priority scale. That's also something which is of interest to me because uh, mm-hmm. when, when, when we started together and I'm a shareholder of the company, of course, sure. um, first I had the impression like the lost uh, cities, uh, those old mines to find the gold there was the highest priority. Now it looks like that uh, the priority moves a bit more to, let's say, on the copper gold side and maybe also onto the silver copper side. Yeah. yeah. Um, so if you would characterize and let's assume <laughs> you are getting the results as you want it. Yeah. Let's assume that uh, what would be, let's say, the highest priority for 2021. Well, gosh, I would love to go and go and find the lost cities tomorrow, but um, we, we've covered about 60% of the concessions right now. We've taken over, uh, well, almost 4,000 stream sediment samples, 13,000 soil samples, incredible numbers here. Um, but still, we have not found uh, the lost cities. We found a lot of leads, we think, that are, 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 are sending us in the, in the right direction. Um, but... Uh, in the course of that general exploration work that we've been doing, and it's highly technical and, and very scientific, we've come up with all these other targets. And what do you do? You just don't ignore them. I mean, no, of course not. <laughs> stuff that's, uh, you know, 50 grams plus silver on surface. You, you certainly don't walk away from that. And of course, we, the copper and silver and sediments and copper porphyry targets and all of this stuff, none of this stuff we knew was going to be here had any inkling it was here when we started the expiration Mm -hmm. it was a blank page Mm -hmm. so all these things have come up i mean we were very hopeful and and certainly by analogy with what's seen to the south of us on trend uh we thought this property would be uh, just as good as 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 there's there's nine advanced copper projects to the south of us south of our boundary nine of them right and they're getting a lot of press these days. Um, but, uh, you know, I fully expect that we're going to have similar sorts of, of goodies uh, where we are. It's just that we are uh, trying to uh, telescope literally 30 years worth of exploration into five or six. Mm-hmm. Because it took 30 years to find this stuff to the south of us. And we're in a real rush here. So we're trying to get everything done as quickly as possible and get to discovery as quickly as possible. Now, I promised everyone, and you're a shareholder, I promised you that we would have a discovery this year. And had it not been for the COVID, and we were completely shut down um, in March, had it not been for the COVID, I think we would have got there. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so I'm, I'm, I'm very hopeful and certainly very determined, and I'm the largest shareholder. That's right. <laughs> uh, I want to I wanna see the thing happen in, in early 2021. Okay, super. Yeah. I mean, COVID uh, yeah, put everybody back by three to four months at least, so I think that's yeah. quite normal. And I mean, the results you have showed so far are really telling us as shareholders uh, that you are fully on the right path, I would say. Uh, Yeah, well, we certainly believe so. And, uh, you know, uh, the first drill hole that we we did, we we started to hit this iron flooding. We scratched our heads and we weren't really sure what it meant. And then the second hole became more intense, third hole more intense. Mm -hmm. And then the fourth and fifth hole, we started to find copper. Um, So it fits the model. And um, we're just going to, to proceed ahead of it. But the things, the targets that we have been uh, tackling with the drills so far are fairly small, a lot smaller than the main sinking target, which is to the south. And I don't know, but that may end up being the, the main event here. Mm-hmm. Okay, super. So highest priority for 2021? Oh, boy. <laughs> Let's see what the assays come out as. Okay, we're, good. We're okay. waiting for the lab. <laughs> okay, super. So that means we will have a nice news flow over the next weeks. Oh, yeah, yeah. There should be a lot of news in 2021. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're cashed up. 
Yeah, um, that's you have, have the money to to you know the the camp uh, campaign uh, as it's been laid out is about eleven thousand meters. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've only done a fraction of that right now, and uh, and so we'll just uh, keep uh, keep with the program here. Mm-hmm. Super. Um, final question: As I know, you also do a lot of social work, and so how? What what social work have you done so far? I know you're normally doing the Santa Claus uh, for the kids there, <laughs> uh, but I, I I assume that was not possible, right? Well, you know, I went to the barber shop yesterday because the beard was about <laughs> this long, and I had grown it that long over the last several months for the kids, and of mm-hmm. course, unfortunately. Uh, because of the COVID, we we were we were recommended by we have two company doctors and they they said look don't do this uh, it doesn't make any sense right now so what we did uh, instead together uh, Arania together with my foundation we um, we supplied uh, two thousand four hundred pairs <laughs> of, of 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 rubber boots okay. to the little kids uh-huh. and snake bite is a real hazard in the, in the jungle. Uh-huh. And these are going to mitigate against that. Keep their their form, their their feet warm and dry as well, and uh, they don't have to worry about snow outside like I do today. But nevertheless, it's uh, it's uh, it's an important thing for them. And uh, so they got uh, got a bag of sweets, and uh, and they uh, they got. Uh, uh, a pair of boots as well. <laughs> Super perfect. I like that. I mean, this also helps the kids, and as you said, with the snake bites, that's really important. And yeah. uh, I think there are a lot of uh, other animals which are not quite healthy, of course. So that's a great thing. Thanks for doing that because I think the social, uh, social impact and social licensing in mining is super important. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, yeah, it is. absolutely, and you do the right things. Super. Okay, Keith. Thank you very much. It was a great and long update. We are already at seventeen minutes. I like oh, that. Wow. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I have a good feeling that we talk in uh, Q one quite early because when all the results are out uh, or are, are published, uh, then I think we should do another more focused and detailed update then. And of course, we want to know then after your results what will be then the real focus for next year. Ah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Super. We'll have a heck of a lot to talk about. <laughs> Definitely, that's how we do it. Thank you very much, Keith. Merry Christmas. All the best also to your family and stay healthy, please. And I look forward then uh, to interview you again in Q1. Merry Christmas yourself and all of your viewers. Take care. Thank you very much. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that was Dr. Keith Barron, the CEO of Aurinia Resources. And you heard it. A lot of work is going on. He was two months in the field. And uh, aside of COVID, still, they got a lot of things done. And it's really interesting because we are waiting for a lot of results. So stay tuned for the next weeks when they are coming out. And this will then, yeah, finally fine tune for 2021, the plans. And we keep you updated on that. I would suggest you check out the company. Thanks for watching us. Merry Christmas to everybody. Stay healthy and all the best.